Hi everyone, this is Chiso Mobona and I welcome you to another interesting tutorial. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I was able to achieve this on PGL Lab. This is a glass morphism effect, a glass morphism effect, but not entirely a glass morphism effect because I was able to add something else that made it look this way because I wanted to use it in this context, in this design. Okay, so um, it's really, really simple. I'm going to walk you right through how I created it. But before I continue, please do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell so that if I upload a new video, you can be able to um, receive it, all right? So let's get right into it. So the first thing we do is to import the flyer we want to use, okay, which is exactly this flyer. Okay guys, so this is the flyer we want to use here. This is a particular fly I want to use, so we've imported it. The background is 1080, let's change it 1080 by 1350. 1080 by 1350, that's the size, okay? That's the size I want to work with, but you can also work with um, any size you want. Um, um, 1080 by 1080, any size you want, actually. Okay, but I want to work with this particular size. Okay, the background should be black. All right, your background should be black or um, the background doesn't really matter, okay? So, but then if you want to make it black or white, anything you want to make, since this flyer is going to still going to cover it, okay? So it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's continue. So the next thing you do is to go to an online blog platform. So just go to Google, you type blog images online blog images online then this is lunar peak i actually prefer using lunar peak there are a lot of other sites you can use but in this context we are going to use lunarpeak.com okay so when you go to lunar peak you click on choose file here okay very easy to use then browse this is it here this is the, you select the flyer you want you this particular flyer you're using here this is also the same flyer you select you blow on lunar peak okay so we've selected the file then you click on upload here all right so when you've uploaded it you can just adjust the focus here and make it blurry okay i think this is you are good to go then you click on apply here when you've applied it then you click on save your device save to your device okay i've saved it already so just go ahead and import it is here in download all right so you increase the size to 100 then see what you do since we already have this flyer here since we already have this flyer what we do is to take this blood one to the back just take it to the back like this click here click here and drag it either front or black okay so we want to take it to the back so we just click here And take it to the back okay so you don't want to do that if it's stressful for you you can just come here and use to back here and take it to the back all right so to front to back all right so you lock it so we now have our flyer our main flyer on top of the blood one okay so our main flyer should also be 100 percent just 100 okay make sure the both of them are at the center this one Make sure it's also at the center. Then once you've achieved that, the next thing you do is to create a shape. This kind of shape. This is what I want to create the glass morphism effect with. Okay, then you can twist the shape to whatever you want. You can manipulate it to your taste. Okay, so this is my taste. This is exactly what I want then we are, we are going to change the color to something that is not on the flyer we are using on this flyer now on this particular flyer we're going to change the shape to a color that's not on the on the background on the background flyer okay so let's change to maybe something like purple purple is not on this flyer so we change to purple here and then make sure purple is not on the flyer you are working with all right, so when you are, when you do that, when you place it wherever you want to create the effect around, okay, so this is where I want to cover. I want to create the effect here. I'll just go to this place, go to my uh, layer panel here, 
and then i'm going to merge the actual flyer and this shape i created here merge the actual flyer and the shape you created when you merge the both of them you can come to erase color here and erase the purple color okay so right there we have created the you can just increase the tolerance to so any, anything you want so right there we've created the glass morphism effect which is right here the glass morphism effects we've achieved it on pixel lab okay but as i said that's not all i did i went for that to shadow here i added the shadow and it's actually a white shadow so i added the white shadow here and then i reduce the opacity of the white shadow by clicking here by clicking here on this plus and then i clicked here okay i reduce it and i reduce it the blur reduce i think i reduce it as well to around six then here i had to take it further and here i brought it down a bit so i want to give you that realistic feel all right so your blur reduce should be 10 okay should be 10 i think it's best like this then you can create another shape another white shape now this is the beautiful thing about this one then when you create the white shape you take it down just below the fly that you made with a shape okay so when you do that you then reduce the opacity of the of this shape of this white shape you just created you see i've created the same effect i used on the fly but then the beautiful thing about this is that you can change it to any color that you want so if you need a red effect you have it here if you need a, just a black effect you just need it to be just glass morphism effect just like that okay you have it here any color you want purple effects blue anything you want that's the that's the beauty yellow that's the beautiful thing about using this method to create a morphism effect okay you can actually change your shape to the effect to any color that you want all right so that's it basically thank you for staying with me please do where to subscribe to my youtube channel for more interesting videos okay i'll be dropping videos once every week once every week okay so if you really want to get better on pixel lab not just pixel lab how to design with your smartphone basically other designing applications like peace art snap speed photo room i'm going to be doing tutorials on them every week okay please do where to subscribe to my youtube channel